Uh, and, well, um, we can talk about that. That's a good okay. segue. So what is CloseCircle.net? You've been talking about it. All righty. CloseCircle.net is uh, CJ Cherry, Car uh, Lynn Abbey, and myself. Uh, about a year ago, we got together and we decided we were um, needed needing to have an outlet for both our backlist and for these books that have gotten difficult for New York to sell. This is an old series, and um, they my my previous uh, publisher, the the publisher that did the Ring books, uh, was looking seriously at the Netwalker series. Series, she was I think trying to find an opening for it. And this market has just gone so crazy that to bring out a series that is that old, to, to resurrect a series that's that old, is just too difficult. So what, uh, uh, what this will give us, this is an uh, online, uh, our own little sort of bookstore. We have an old, old book front that I did the graphics for, and it's got little buttons that you push to go to the different sections of it. But basically, it's just a source for ebooks. We put them into 12 different formats, and we put them in a zip file, and you give us one price, and they're DRM-free, so you can download them and change them to fit to whatever format you need. Are you going to offer a uh, instant print option? Can, um, eventually, it to them? eventually, I am looking into uh, I mean, this. Is this is all? It's it, it, it's all so many different moving parts. What we wanted to do was to get the ebooks up because there is no money involved in it. Right. Uh, I mean, other than some some. But it's, what it is a pay, You don't even have to pay anything to PayPal. You you pay them some for each transaction, but to set it up, you don't. There's there's no money involved. There's no upfront cost. Right. So other than the site itself, which is dirt cheap these days, it was just a lot of sweat, <laughs> blood, sweat, and tears on our part. Um, I had to dig out uh, a bunch of. Uh, I had I had to learn to do computer graphics. I had played with it over the years. Um, I started out in art. Oh, you're a so, graphic designer, so yeah, you know, well, I, I was an I was an artist. Artist, right? And um, uh, I had done some work over the years, but nothing. I mean, I, my paints have all dried up by this time. Right. Um, so it was a case of do it on the computer, and so I didn't even know what a layer was a few months ago, and now I've got sure Photoshop layers. Ninety of them yeah. in my last cover, uh, but it's been it's been great fun because I've been able to go back and, and do the art, but that then we've had the um, uh, the website to get together and figure out then we've had to figure out how to do the, the uh, conversions of the ebooks and luckily we have a great batch of fans who have been following our blogs and this whole process all year and as we have made them available they've been able to come back and say okay this is reading good on this reader but this is not on this so we're we're going to great pains to make sure that these are as as pretty as we can, you Excellent. know. We wanted to read nicely. Um, so this works out. New York should be terrified. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yep. Right. Um, and we are uh, a book cafe. Book book view cafe um, is uh, another batch of authors who are who are working to do the same thing, which I just found out about this weekend. So we will be. Uh, linking to them and becoming sort of an right. integral part of that right. too. So this is, I think, it's going to be the salvation for the unusual books, the books that are not the easy, um, easy or to Or well, advertise. you know, the dedicated fans who want to get what they want. Exactly. Or they want to see it the way they want. Exactly. Well, uh, Jane Fancher, thank you so much for being on a spot interview with NeverEndingPanel.com. It was a pleasure getting oh, to know you this week. Thank you. I've had I've had a ball, and I. I loved your demonstration. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> nice meeting you, Tom. Thank you. Yeah. I have a question. Okay. Oh, a Richard cameraman has a question. The cameraman has a question. Jane, do you think it's harder for a woman to write a man character, a male character, or a man to write a female character? I think you write good characters or you write bad characters. Okay. <laughs> I like that. All right, we're out.